Hey guys, my name's Matty from My Hacks, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPod, or iPad on the brand new Take 8.4 jailbreak just released. And uh, I'm going to be guiding you today on how to get it all done safely and fully. So the first thing you want to do is grab your sync cable and plug it into your PC into the USB slot and then into your phone or any or whatever iOS device you have if I can actually get it. There we go. Uh, then you want to plug the other end into your iPhone which is on the fresh 8.4 release. Once you've done that you should see that your iPhone comes up and then you want to load up into iTunes. Once iTunes is loaded, you, see, you should see the little phone icon appear in the top left corner. You want to click that, and firstly, to make sure everything runs safely, you want to create a backup. You can backup apps if you want, and transfer purchases. But firstly, you just want to wait for the sync to start, go through the standard backup procedure, and this just guarantees that if anything does go wrong in the jailbreak routine, that you can always return to a backup with all your pictures, videos, and apps on your app before. Now while we wait for this I'm just going to tell you that this won't work on a Mac as Tag isn't available for OS X but what you can do is get a virtual machine and in that instance load Windows and then follow the standard procedure once you've got a VM. All links for the Tag application also the VM and Windows XP, which is now free, will be available in the description of the video, so check there for any type of download that is needed in this video. So as you can see, the iPhone's just backing itself up like normal. And as you can see, I'm also on iOS 8.4. Now, I don't know if this works on 8.3, but you may as well upgrade to 8.4 as it uh, comes with the brand new Apple uh, Apple Pay, I think, and Apple Music, but I'm not too sure about Apple Pay. I'm just going to authorize my phone here, type in my password, uh, which is the wrong one. Oops. Apple D. Right. My world. Okay. And the password. Just like since iTunes Tour, and this is the to authorize my account now. So I'm just going to go to and you just want to go through the standard procedure to authorize your phone and authorize. Just going to cancel that. I'm going to authorize these purchases. There we go. So the applications are just transferring across now. And on your standard iPhone, you should see that nothing's really happening. You've got the little sync icon in the top left side, but that's about it. So when you go through, you should see all your apps are here from your upgrade. And you just want to let that go through its thing first. And I'm just going to skip it forward and we'll be right back. Okay, so we are back guys, the sync has completed, the backup has been made. Just make sure that it says today 1445 to this computer and if you click restore backup you can see that the iPhone must be turned off and therefore the backup has completed. Now the next thing you want to do is go to your iPhone and you want to go to iCloud which is in the settings and then iCloud. And then what you have to do is scroll down and see find my iPhone and you want to turn that off. So it's very important and apparently my account's not registered so I'll just be right back while I register my account. Okay so it's now been verified. I'm going to tap on the find my iPhone icon. I don't know if you can see that there. But then you should see find my iPhone and you just want to tap the little green box which turns it off. And then you need to put in your password and click turn find my iPhone off. Now I don't really understand why you have to do this, 
but it does say in the instructions to turn it off just to guarantee that everything goes through smoothly. So I'm just going to turn off Find My iPhone and as you can see Find My iPhone is now turned off and once we've done that we're free to download the Take Jailbreak and therefore then go into the Take application on the PC. So we'll go to the PC. Okay, so now we're back on the PC with iTunes and the Take Jailbreak, which is downloadable in the description of the video. You want to firstly extract the Take application from the zip file which it comes in. You can either use WinRAR or the standard Windows, and then you want to run the Take Jailbreak application. Now, I just made a mistake there. You want to run it as administrator just to guarantee that everything goes through smoothly. And then once it's allowed it to run, which you should receive a verification message for, in a second okay and uh, there we go now it's going to check the tag version it's going to say that we can do iOS 8.4 it's checking the jailbreak environment just guaranteeing that my phone is ready and the Apple driver hasn't been found so what we have to do is we have to go and download the older version of iTunes now this did say in the jailbreak information that you should go and download it in the older version uh, of the iTunes 12.0.1 uh, there will be a download for that in the description should you receive a message like this so we'll be right back once that's done and so we've got the older version of iTunes you can tell it's the older version because it has the red logo rather than the new multiple colored logo and uh, if you don't know how to do that all you have to do is uninstall every Apple product from the uh, uninstall menu in the control panel of your computer and then restart the computer, get the old file, which as I say, will be down, uh, can, you can download in the description of the video. And once you've got it, then just you want to run the standard Tag Jailbreak application again. And this time you shouldn't receive the error about downloading the new Apple drivers. So also just ensure that once again that your iPhone is plugged into the device. Uh, uh, into your computer and as you can see this time it's run flawlessly it's telling me that it, it's my iPhone I'm on iOS 8.4 which is correct and you just want to uncheck that 3k assistant because I don't know it's it's something that could go wrong but you definitely want Cydia so ensure that Cydia is ticked and then all you want to do is click that start button so as you can see right now your phone might go off there you go, so the phone has now gone into a state of standard DFU mode probably. I don't know for sure, but on screen you can also see that it's jailbreaking. You just heard the disconnection there from the computer that uh, the iPhone's restarting. And now what it's doing is it says on the screen, restarting the device, it's done all the data processing and everything that it wants to. So 20% into the jailbreak now. Shouldn't take that long. We can hear that the iPhone's reconnected and it says, please unlock your device. Now, one thing that you could do is stop, uh, to stop this screen from popping up is just, just disable the um, passcode lock on your phone before it starts. I haven't, but that's no problem. We just go straight on. It says restart succeeded, continue into jailbreak. So the phone's now in its normal state. It says start. We're at 20% of the jailbreak. It's doing its data processing again. I guess that was just to check to see if the phone itself can be restarted and you know, you're not trying to put it on something random. But the little sync icons appeared in at the top of the iPhone suggesting that something's going on uh, behind the scenes. Nothing to what we should be aware of. It's just jailbreaking the phone. So as you can see, the progression bar is now going up, which is a good sign. As I say, if anything does go wrong, you can just restore to a 8.4 fresh and then restore from your backup. So it's always good to have the handy, the 8.4 IPSW file and a backup. Now the injection's completed, it's starting to execute the jailbreak, and it's literally just as simple as clicking that one button and doing some things on your phone. Now, as you see, it says my storage is almost full, I'm just going to click done because uh, I will be getting rid of some stuff, There's, I don't need everything on this anyway, but uh, as you can see, 90% complete now, it's executing. Uh, I've just got the camera on the phone just in case something does happen, uh, I don't know whether it will or not, it will probably restart, there we go, um, to finally put on the... Cydia jailbreak and that's what I'm hoping will happen if not I'm gonna look very bad and wrong but there we go jailbreak succeeded says that our iPhone uh, says our computer now let's just wait until the iPhone reboots just to guarantee that everything's gone smoothly we have a close button at the bottom but I'm just gonna leave it on the screen uh, obviously we're recording the iPhone here um, 
it's just taking now what happens with gel brakes is it does take a bit longer to turn on but that's not a problem as not many people really turn off and on their iphones uh, there we go we've heard that it's reconnected back to the pc the phone itself has done the battery status saying that it's obviously managed to connect successfully we're on the phone again let's just unlock it as we normally would and if we scroll to the last page, we should see the Cydia application, which is there in all its beauty and glory. The Cydia application is finally on our phone. You just want to click that, click done. It's going to prepare your file system. And what this is amazing for is that we can now finally access all of the save games, which previously wouldn't work due to the 8.1.3 flaw. Another video, which I'll be releasing later, you should stay tuned to that one. It's going to give some heads up information about things that I've currently been working on that may answer a few of your questions in the comments section. And now obviously the file system is just preparing for Cydia. Uh, this is just the normal standard jailbreak. And I highly would recommend jailbreaking due to one of the security restrictions that Apple put on now being released because of the jailbreak. Finally here, allowing access to the central VAR directory of your iPhone, something which we couldn't access before, as I said, due to the 8.1.3 restrictions. So we're finally free again. Apple have no longer got restraints on us. And that's basically it. So once this is done, uh, we should get the city. You can start adding in all of your directories, start getting all of your applications, like your standard jailbreak that was for 8.1.2. It's brilliant to see that we've got a dedicated jailbreak team now working on the iOS 9 one as well. So as soon as that comes out, we should be ready. Uh, really looking forward to watchOS 2. Obviously, the Apple Watch is over there, so... Uh, quite happy to get that done. Okay, so once this is done, as I say, uh, that's basically the end of the video. The jailbreak's complete. If you do have any problems, please feel free to just post them into the comment section below, and I will try my absolute best to get to you and figure out what the problem is and find out a resolution for that. So thanks for watching, guys. Just going to leave this, going to do a quick stream, and basically that's it. Everyone have a great day. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Thanks also for the subscribers. But as I said, I'll be releasing a video later on saying thank you and all that. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later.